how to play the Tomb Kings. I've got another playthrough of the Tomb Kings that I have been doing off stream, or I am learning how to play Cetra, but that is not today. Uh, let me get a little reminder of where we are. We got Bone Lord over here, King Rakash here, who is recruiting some dudes that died, and we got Arcan the Black over here, who does have a full army and might be fighting this guy in a minute. And we've got a little bit of money to spend. Looks like we can upgrade one of the headquarters. Uh, the control here is fine. This one, we need it to have more growth before we do the thing. Um, let's do that. And that. Oop, there we go. All right. And we can put a commandment. So let's get control right there at the Great Pyramid. And let's see. What are my victory conditions? Uh, destroy Kemri. Oh, it wants me to fight these guys? And the Court of Labars. Oh, those are the other two... Oh, that's wild. Okay. Those are the other two Tomb Kings. Yo, okay, so Arcan's like a traitor. He hates what? them. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. All right. Um, let's see. Anything else to do here? We don't have Golden Idol income yet. Can I make Ouroboros's? Oh, we don't have any of that. Okay. How are things going? It's going good. It's going good. All right, enter. Let's see what happens. Just for the uh, future YouTube audience, we're uh, playing this right after we finished a session, our first session of Silent Hill 2. Uh, chat, those of you that were seeing Silent Hill 2 like I was for the very first time, any thoughts so far? I was just happy that the game looked good and my system wasn't struggling to run it. There was like one or two very small lag spikes, but that was it. Um, what's going on here? Okay, so this guy is, oh my goodness. Okay, well, we are getting sieged by these guys before, uh, okay, so we can make another army. Hmm. There's no way that either of those armies can get over here to help in time. And I can't hire another lord here at the moment. All right, well, we are just going to have to outplay them. That's the worst. All right, save game. Uh, oh, I can uncheck control large army, so I only have to deal... This. He has a greater advantage if all his forces are on the field than if all of, all of mine are on the field. So we're just going to fight his units versus our units, but each group can only have 20 on the field at a time. All right. Let's see how we do it. Very enjoyable so far, Canuck says. Uh, Shugo says, I never played Silent Hill 2, the old or the new. It looks good. They made the girl too fat, but looks fine. They... <laughs> Uh, I don't think I've seen a girl... Wait, do you mean the girl that was standing in the graveyard? I think that's the only woman we've met so far. Uh, I await the terror lol. Silent Hill, not scary, but interesting. Strange, too. Uh, I played Silent Hill 1 through 4, so I got some nostalgia. Uh, I got the creepy factor down. There was some parts where it felt like something was going to jump out at you, but for the most part, it seemed okay for now. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Uh, oh, there's actual trees here. We've been fighting in deserts for so long. All right, so... Where's my reinforcement point? It's odd. I should have a reinforcement, but is it be is it behind theirs? I don't see it. I should have one for my garrison, but I don't know where they appear at. All right, I want to fight them as far from their respawn po their uh, reinforcement point as possible. All right, get that there. Uh, what do I have for ranged attackers in this army? We've got some skeletal archers. Let's put those there. And some shield boys. Lapeth Minidor, shield boys. And let's get these guys here. Let's go. Got some Ushtabi. Alright, 
got our hex rays. We got some wolves. Can we put them in the trees so they can be sneaky in a minute? Looks like we can. Um. These back of it. Can this still hit them? Yes, it can. Okay. So those pterodactyls are going to come running over in a minute. Uh, I imagine I'm going to have to deal with them first. Okay, we got the big man himself on his fancy cart. War this guy is the one that buffs the nearby construct, so we need him in range of the Ushtabi. Get these bad boys over here. And this guy, and this guy. All right, that is everyone, I think. All right, open fire. Wait, do they see the dog? Uh, yeah, they do. Dang it. Uh, oh, okay. I just need to make sure these pterodactyls are not coming over to kill those dogs. That is the main thing right now. And it seems like they freaking are. Jerks. Alright, zap those. All right, using Spirit Leech on their boss. Realm of Souls. Looks like more of them are going to hit us on the left hand side. Summoning some skeletons under their ranged fighters. Alright. Getting all of the archers to turn to the pterodactyls. Bringing in the hex wraiths. Their lord again. Buff all the undead on the map. Okay, once those are dead, swap to the other group. And have the dogs go get the runners and bring the snake riders back in to hit those dudes. Zap him again. Have the hex ray. Uh, for some reason, these pterodactyls flew low, so the hex rays are able to hit them. That's a surprise. Dogs swamp to hit those uh, archers. Use the tome to reduce the damage everyone's taking. Have all the archers hit those pterodactyls. Switch the cavalry to hit those things. Put the big buff out again. I think we have taken down all their flyers. So just tell the archers to form back up in the ranks. Uh, where is the team I'm going to add him to the control group with these guys. Summon another group of undead there. Charge that guy. Yeah. Trying to make sure that the dogs stay alive. 
This lord is low health and trying to run. We got a lot of them running. We're doing really well so far. And see, the reinforcements or reinforcements are starting to trickle in. They can't send in another squad till uh, a squad dies or leaves the map, which is working just fine for me. Because in 20 on 20, I'm winning. In 20 on 40, I would not be. Okay, send the hex rays after those. Uh, we've got the free Ushtabi summon. Don't really need it at the moment. It's a hero that is riding a pterodactyl. I think you guys need backup. You're going to take too much damage. Alright, let's form back up into ranks and wait for them to push forward. Is that the pterodactyl guy? I'd like to 100% kill those that are really low, but their other troops are forming up over here, and that worries me a little bit. If I can pull this guy closer so that the archers can hit it. There we go. Seeing some arrows. Don't know if I can make sure it dies, though. ones are too fast. I'm not going to be able to do anything there. Is going to, actually, we might be able to just weave through here and hit this stuff. Okay, disengage, disengage, disengage. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, dogs. I'm trying to keep you alive. Come on, please. There we go. Are they running with low hit points? Is it like competitive PvP? <laughs> uh, it's just the AI. Um, they try to back away and kind of regroup. But if they have the white flag, they're they're like backing up to regroup. But if they have the skull marker, they're fleeing the field and they will not regroup. So you can hit them until you see that skull appear, or you can you know just fight them all the way until death if you want to. I need to slow it back down. Okay, we got a group over here that's really low health. Uh, let's use Restore on this group of Ushtabi here that's super low. And I'm gonna use the Summon Ushtabi that we can use once and use this cooldown to reduce the damage everyone's taking in this area for a time. Zap this guy. 
Uh, the wolves are idle, so they can go finish off that group. It'll demoralize the enemy. Even though those guys have the skull, if I kill them, I think that lowers the morale of the others. So we can do that. X-rays. Let's see if they can run those down. X-rays are quite fast. They're basically undead knights. Uh, we've got a dinosaur here in our ranks. Okay, we got a victory. So now, though, I want to kill as many as I can. Because wh whatever gets out of this battlefield alive will get to regroup and fight me again uh, soon. And doing some healing in the meantime as well. Uh, let's see, where is the this guy? I'm going to send him to repair the constructs, if possible. Dinosaur. It's too thick. We can only just take, uh, finish off the guys that either don't have armor or that are already low health. Okay. Uh, does this guy have the ability? No, he does not. Never mind. Alright, I think that's all we can do here. Oh, the hex rates are hitting something. What is that? It's one dude at nine hit points. <laughs> I think we're seeing that knockback bug again. Let's try to let the dogs finish it. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, wow. So the dogs, 496 kills on this one, on this pack. 361 kills on that one. And then the snake riders got 515. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh, I had a, a, a one funny moment during my solo playthrough uh, where I've been learning Cetra today, where I had one army that got caught in a bad position, and I knew it was going to get killed on the next turn. And I'm like, wait a minute, my troops are free. And I disbanded the whole army. Hold on, I, I'm gonna show you what I did here, just a second. Uh, take the gold. All right, so I, I did this. I right-clicked the Lord, hit replace Lord, and replaced him with a level one. So the one that I kicked out went back into the, the recruitment pool, and then I just went like this and selected all the units and disbanded them. And then I told the heroes to leave the army so they were just on foot. So the army basically just like became a level one lord with no troops. So the enemy got no XP for killing it. And then I just re-recruited the whole army back home over the next like two turns. <laughs> and I was like, wow, you can't do this with any other faction. Like that's, that's insane. You've unlocked the Sphinx of Usek. Necro Sphinx, regiment of renown. Now is that the one that's anti-infantry or the one that's anti-large? Okay, Mentor. Oh, he actually, he got multiple levels. Um, Sun Scorch Bombs is fine. Let's see. Uh, 
Magic reserves, I guess. Hearken the black. Hard to hit. Open the liber mortis. Incantation of repair. Okay. Who dares? So I could put that new regiment of renown in this army, but it really doesn't need it. This army's doing great. Like this army just fought two armies. So I think it would be better. Uh, so we'll just auto resolve. These are the survivors that got away. And take the jars. Assault expert, nice. Uh, let's see. This guy leveled up. Tome Prince leveled up. Um, do that. And Necrotect. Okay, so either plus one to the capacity of Necropolis Knights and Stalkers, plus two Scorpions, or plus one to the two types of Ushnavi. I think I'm going to take more Necropolis Knights. I think those are my favorite right now. The Scorpions are cool, Ushtabi are cool. But I think I like the Necropolis Knights the most. Alright, so... I'm gonna go into this stance, which makes us able to replenish an enemy territory, and we can hit Statue of the Gods next turn with him. And then we got these two fellas up here. So the question is, do either of these armies not have a powerhouse unit? And if I had to pick one, it's gonna be this army here, Bone Lord's army. So let's kick one of these groups, and let's give him the Sphinx of Usek, which has anti-large armored armor piercing causes terror. Out of curiosity, what's the mass on this sucker? 5,500. Uh, to put that into perspective, chat, uh, one of these skeletons, their mass is 80. So he's a big lad, is what I'm saying. All right, so we need to take this guy out. And we can start positioning ourselves to do that. So, when I declare war on him, I want to be ready to do some damage. So, I've got one guy here that's recruiting for two more turns. I'll move this guy south a little, and then we can, like, both move eastward, I think. Um, there's no problem with force marching for now. Um... Also, oh, that's right, we had just finished another dynasty. Okay, we can, let's do that. We can start cooking another army. All right, so what's the best province to do that at is the question. Not that one, there's not much there. Uh, This one has the dogs. Hmm. Let me see something here. If I click on this guy and I hit recruit, what all do we have? We don't have anywhere that can make the snakes yet, which is a shame. We'll have that soon. How are we doing with... We can make one Ushtami. Yeah, we, we don't have a ton to work with here. Okay, so it's going to be pretty bread and butter, I think. Um, Alright. Let's start building that. And we already have the control building. Alright, so recruit Lord. Who do we want? Plus relations with everyone, minus corruption, plus movement range, tactician. Let's get relations with everybody, I think. Okay, and we got the potion of healing. All right, and then we start recruiting, and we're gonna have to long range recruit the dogs, so we'll get those. And let's see. Don't have any Screaming Skull Catapults yet. I'll need to fix that as well. And can I make any more hero units right now for this army? No, I cannot. So like I said, it's going to be pretty bread and butter right now. Uh... 
We'll do that for now. Replace stuff as we can. Can I do this? Uh, once I have 5,000 gold, I can do that starting next turn to get another one of the caskets. Okay. Let's see. And we are out of money. My will be done. Okay. Uh, enter. Good to have an army that doesn't have a stomach. Yeah, them not having supply lines is pretty great. There's no punishment when you add an additional army. With other factions, every additional army is a larger and larger and larger cost. Uh, so, like, adding one more is, you know, can break your back in terms of expenses if you were not ready for it. Uh, miscast chance minus 8% or minus 20, but you'll lose 40 jars. Well, that's just the smaller one. Plus one Lich Priest now available. Alright, so here we can get another Lich Priest and get one... There's only one option. And he's going to join that army. And he can do the heal thing. We got a few random items there. Uh, can we get another Necrotect? Alright. Alright, and then Arcan is ready to hit the lizards again. And he can just auto-roll over this city. Nice. Occupy. And it says you've secured this whole province, so I can turn up the control here. Uh, let's do that. Okay, and he got... What he got? We'll do that for now. And his Lich Priest leveled up. I think I want to get Incantation of Protection. It's basically a spell that re uh, heavily reduces uh, the damage a target is taking. So you can throw that on someone to possibly like save their life. Alright, so next turn this guy will be able to move. So I would like this guy to be in a position to run in and bully the enemy. So he's going to be ready to hit Bagar here. And... Address me as I think that's eyes. it for this turn. Let me do a double check uh, alliances. Yeah, this guy's like, hey, you want to be trade partners? I'm like, ah, I'm totally not about to attack you, I promise. It's a shame, but you're part of the victory condition. I'm supposed to hate you, it's in the lore. Buck, have you tried any deck builder games like Bellatra or Slay the Spire? I have played Slay the Spire. Uh, cleared that. I think that was before Muckluck Plays existed, the second YouTube channel, so I don't think the playlist uh, for that is on there. Um, but I have done that one. I've never heard of Bellatro. The la I mean, I don't know if it really qualifies as a deck building game, but the last time I played a game that had card decks was um, Inscription. Which was an absolutely awesome game, but not really because of the card deck building. It was awesome for just, like, other reasons. Okay, and let's recruit the Necrotect. Uh, plus two capacity to Tomb Scorpions. Plus Ambush Chance. I guess I'll take plus two capacity to Scorps. Nemesis Crown, Skeletal Steed. Okay. Uh, let's get Soul Reaper there. All right. So yeah, look how fast this army's come together. All right, one more turn and that one will be ready. Um. I'm looking at one specific thing right now. This right here. This building at tier three and four unlocks the snake guys that I'm having such good results with. So I was trying to prioritize that. Okay, so these two are ready to punch to the right, which might be a terrible mistake, but let's see what happens. All right, so do you have any enemies? No, you don't. Well, you're about to have one. Yes, it is done. He's like, what? We were homies. No. Destroy that. 
Yo, it says I'm going to lose to their garrison. What the heck? Uh, 